Welcome back and join us this time as the secret is finally revealed to the newlyweds at the Cotswold Country Park campsite where it's fun, laughter and games all the way. Will the weather hold? Who will win Mr and Mrs? We can never get it right. Over. Stay tuned to find out. This could get me in trouble this one, couldn't this it? This could. Well, we've arrived at our next destination. <laughs> our next place to eat some wonderful food. So we've arrived at the gate hangs high. And apparently it was called this because there was a gate across the road where they'd pay tax to get the... People would pay a tax to get through. Oh, is that what it was? But the animals, the animals could go underneath the gate. Be a garden. Oh, sweet peas, the beautiful peas. And they smell gorgeous. Oh, that's a nice little beer garden. Flower beds, nice, isn't it? The hills and then the campsites through here is where you can stay behind. There's your electric hook up. The thing is, the field's not that even, but it's all right. Our friends have arrived. Here they come. How are you doing? Oh. oh, it's so good to see you. Oh, come on, give us a squeeze, you're right. How are you, mate? You're right. Hello, I'm good. Squeeze down <laughs> if your back's bad, mate. You're all right. Too, mate. <laughs> oh, not lost. <laughs> I like the way you say that in unison. No, so yeah, exactly. Area. Lost is not knowing your way back. Yeah. Have we found the village? Back. I don't think it's a village unless you can find a pub. <laughs> We're looking for oh. some kind of light. It's still a bit lost. We're looking for the sun pub. I can't see it. We really enjoyed our walk round Hook Norton and it's a very pretty village. Recommend a visit if you're nearby. Would you Adam and Eve it? We find the pub eventually in the village and it turns out it's closed. Time for us to head back to the gate hangs high. So we just got back, we had a little walk with the doodles. Okay. The landlord at the gate hangs high was lovely. And nothing was too much trouble. having a lovely lunch of David and Claire. They've got no idea that there's things going on back at the campsite. I've just made my excuses to come outside. Won't be long before we get back to the campsite. Fingers crossed, Kirsty from Made by Hedgehogs and Dee from Under and Wheelies will have their pitch all decorated, ready for them for when they get there. The food at the Gate Hangs High pub was delicious. All right, so we've got Doolittles behind us on the walkie-talkies and we're heading to our destination which is Cotswold Hill Country Park and it's the this road's bumpy we'll try and film it secretly when we get there we have to check in watch the car coming oh he's telling us to go in that way it might be number plate recognition <laughs> we've got the wrong way again to get in was 1988, wasn't it? Yeah, there's a guy coming up to you there. Hiya, you're Hopefully they haven't seen that bitch. So, we fucked up again. we got to check in now. <laughs> we can never get it right, over. That was really funny. You didn't seem too happy, like, oi. <laughs> over. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> 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 
Am I in? You're in! You're in. That's what she said! <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Peggy Sue, with a love so rare and true. Oh, Peggy, my Peggy Sue. <laughs> well, I love you, girl, and I want you, Peggy Sue. Peggy Sue, Peggy Sue. Pretty, 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 pretty Peggy Sue I'm Peggy You're my Peggy Sue Well, I love you, girl And I want you, Peggy Sue Yay! <laughs> Resist, resist History itself You have to hide Come up and see Smile. I'll do what you want, running wild. There ain't no more. You're taking everything. We didn't do much filming after this, as is standard procedure, we partied late into the night. It's miserable. Morning. Place is wrecked. Yes, feeling a, a tad delicate this morning. And it's pissing down. Great. Today is supposed to be the party day. Just hope it stops raining a little bit. Uh, we're just going to have to make the best of it. And it's going to rain till about three o'clock this afternoon. And then is it stopping? According to this weather forecast, you, you see, we've got rain, rain, rain. Oh, so that we could and be rain quite... at 10 o'clock. Well, that was all right, though. So, so this forecast is much better than the one that Claire got. We're sticking so with we're that one. with this one. Anyway, coffee. Kettle on. Well, it's still a peeing down outside. And this is supposed to be Doolittle's party day. But on the bus side, I'm trying our air fryer got that from Tesco's. How much should we pay for the air fryer babe? Three million. <laughs> How much should we pay? It's about, it was on offer in Tesco's, I think it was about 40 quid, somewhere around there. 40, remember. I remember you 40. saying 40 now. Yeah, reduced from 65 to about 40 quid. Yeah, that's good isn't it? That's good. So do you want to pull it open and we'll see the bacon? Ta-da! Looking. Could put the periscope up and see how rainy it is. Very is the answer. <laughs> the camera's waterproof, but I don't think it's that waterproof. It is! So I'll stick it outside the window. It's got no door on it. You took the door off. Oh, you took the bloody door off. I've had to ask you about three times where you put the doors on. I still You're can't only remember. supposed to blow the bloody doors off. Oh, it's pinged. Ah. I'm making some chips. The Doolittles get together tonight. Shall we try one? They look good. There's a little tiny one Careful. there. Careful. It'll be hot. Oh, ah, ow. Mm, ah. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. If it's still raining tonight, I'm going to open the sliding window and just give out portions of chips. Not one portion? Salt vinegar? Sorry, you'll have to wait. We're just waiting on chips. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hot chip in my mouth. Take a while. We've got this one, and we have this one over here. There's some chips. We've got sweeties. We might need to have a sweetie. We might need to just to get rid of the taste of the chips. There's nothing wrong with the chips. Well, making me a coffee battle. Could go. I've been doing me chips. You can't have everything. You want a job doing, do it yourself. This place is the hive of industry. Oh, I can't even get in the bloody. Move that back then. Ugh. So this could take months. Look at that. And that's what you call chips.
The rain did stop, as predicted. We decided to go for a Disney theme, as David and Claire's wedding was Cinderella and Buttons. As you can see, everybody participated. Everybody also contributed to food, so there was loads to go round. Off I went to get the newlyweds to do the first dance. All that it takes is one image of you and it's shivering. Now it was time for David and Claire to get their own back. Three couples took part in Mr. and Mrs. There was Debs and Richard, Ricky and Beth, and me and Mark. Just to explain how it works, so there's no ambiguity, no confusion, etc. Each partner in the couple has got a man's shoe and they've got a woman's shoe. We're going to ask them five... David, are the flashy shoes yours? No, they're not mine, they're Deb's. They were supposed to go with Deb's outfit. If we could keep the heckling to uh, a minimum, <laughs> then we'll all be able to be quiet by half ten and that bloke over there will be, uh, he'll be happy and he'll be appeased. <laughs> um, so basically, the guys have got a man's shoe and a woman's shoe. We will ask five questions, to which there are two possible answers. There is Beth, and there is Ricky. So if Beth thinks the answer to the question is Ricky, she will raise the man's shoe. If she thinks it's Beth, she will raise the woman's shoe. Ricky will do exactly the same. If he thinks it's himself, he'll raise the man's He's shoe. Confused. And if he thinks it's Beth, he'll raise the woman's <laughs> shoe. Now hopefully this, this is clear. Let's play the game. Who buys the most thoughtful gifts? <laughs> yeah. hey. 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 <laughs> so easy. Sure, I'm going to come out of this looking good. <laughs> <laughs> Who out of you win. both is bossier? Hey. <laughs> Who is more likely to forget an anniversary? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Number four. Who is more shots. likely to sleep <laughs> yeah. through their alarm? We have a match! <laughs> Who is more likely to keep a secret? Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> hang on, hang on. Sorry. As the presenter, I feel I should do a bit of digging. So, Beth, which shoe did you raise? 
I said I'd be. I'd keep you the keep the secret. Yeah. Why do you say you? Because Ricky's really stupid and he doesn't remember what is a secret. <laughs> <laughs> Ricky, I didn't understand the question. <laughs> <laughs> that was the safest answer you could have pro possibly given. So we got four out of five. So what do you think? Is that worth a round of applause? Thank you very much. Who is more likely to be brutally honest to the other? <laughs> <laughs> It's all right, we've still got four to play for. You could draw with everyone else. Okay, who is the biggest eavesdropper? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, next question. Okay. Who is more likely to win an eating contest? <laughs> no divorce tonight. Okay, who is more likely to get pulled over for speeding? <laughs> and for the, our last question, who is more likely to make extravagant Valentine's Day plans? <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, I'm not going to interrogate this one because I think it's really cute. Yeah, because yeah, Deb said that she thought that yeah. Richard would, and Richard said yeah, that Deb's would, yeah. and I that's, think that's love. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's I think we both do. I think that's the yeah. 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 So, well done, guys. Yeah. 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 We're all good. Okay, question number one. Who is more likely to watch an episode of a TV show without the other person? <laughs> we have one there. Hey. <laughs> we should have used to wear off. Said the most nervous man. That's a bit bad. <laughs> Likely to refuse a ride on a roller coaster. <laughs> we have a match. Who is less likely to keep a house plant alive? <laughs> we have a match. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Who is more likely to do something that goes viral? Oh. <laughs> no, no pressure guys. Um, but at the minute you're tying with Beth and Ricky with an additional question. So if you get this one right, you are guaranteed to place in the final. Oh. 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 And oh. just bear in mind that we did say that there's a very, very, very special, but not quite as special as yesterday prize. <laughs> right. Last question for you guys. Who is more likely to cook the other spontaneous three course meal? Oh. Oh. Can you say it's a solid interrogation? Did you, <laughs> <laughs> you say you to try and preserve your own upstanding? Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 We well, okay. yeah. Right, we've got a tie. We've got a tie. Oh, yeah. 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 Unfortunately, Debs and Richard didn't make it to the next round. It was a tie between Ricky and Beth, me and Debs, with four all. The host David whisked me and Ricky away to prepare for the nail biting decider round. We were both filled with nerves of anticipation wondering how our answers would be received by our better halves. The tension was building. This could get me in trouble, this one, couldn't this it? This could. Worst thing that your partner cooks or has cooked for you? Another <laughs> cooking one? Oh no! Your favourite outfit that your partner owns? <laughs> Hang on! We can send Ricky in. Ricky, right, okay. Claire! Hello. Mark's come out, make sure you don't go near Debs. Welcome. It wasn't me. Oh. <laughs> it's like being interrogated, yeah, isn't I feel, it? I, feel, I think feel like a detective here. Eh? <laughs> doesn't have to be a true answer, but think what Beth would expect you to say. Yeah? And that might help. <laughs> so what is well, I knew what she was thinking, I'd be in a better situation. <laughs> right, yeah, okay. What's your favourite YouTube channel? Favourite Spice Girl? Um. The 
worst thing that your partner has ever cooked or does cook. Your favourite outfit that your partner owns. I would say, she's going to think, I'm going to think when she's covered up, so we're going to go with this. <laughs> what? Yeah. So that's what she's going to think. I'm gonna You've got to be in her head. She's going to yeah, say yeah, yeah. anything where she's covered. Yeah, yeah. So let's go with the, uh, the she'll be wearing it. She? I think she is. So she she'll is. look down, she'll go with this. Right, okay. What, she what, is wearing her Just a dry robe. Just going to go with her dry robe. I'm liking your thinking there. Yeah. I'm not sure you're going to... Oh, that's definitely wrong, but I'm <laughs> thinking. And the final question is, what is your favourite campsite slash park up slash festival that you've ever done? I'm a pool. Been lovely to see you with no black eyes <laughs> or anything. I reckon the bruising's going to heal quite quick. <laughs> I'm fairly confident on that. I could have asked much for those questions. <laughs> right, let's go. Right. Keep him away. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let's toss a coin. <laughs> so, Mark, you went in there first, you get to call heads or tails. Heads, please. It is heads. Hey. Do you want to go first? No, or we'll go, go second? second, please. Go second. <laughs> so, Beth, we asked, and this one isn't going to get Ricky in trouble, I don't think. We asked Ricky what his favourite YouTube channel was. What did he say? I'm kicking it. No, he did not. Oh! No match. Ricky, what did you say? Come Oh, yeah, of course. Right. So the score is nil point. Oh that was the easy one. That was the easy one. The rest potentially could cause a breakup. <laughs> um, the second question is we asked Ricky what his favourite Spice Girl was. Uh, I'm going to go baby. It's a shame because he changed. No, he didn't actually. He was ginger. So, yeah. Oh. That was wrong. Considering you were ginger, I thought you might have telepathic. Auburn is close to ginger. I'm going to get the punch tonight. Um, so the third question, and this is where it, gets, it does get a bit tougher for your relationship. We asked Ricky what the worst thing his partner cooks or has ever cooked. Oh, God. Sprouts. No, he said dinner. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> no, I'm genuinely scared for question number four. Oh, God. I wasn't quite that scared for question number three. I'm terrified for this one. <laughs> we asked Ricky what his favourite outfit that his partner owns is. Bin bag? Think. Bin bag. <laughs> Do you know what? <laughs> that wasn't the answer. He actually said your dry robe. There we go. I thought you would look. There we go. Look at what you're wearing. Oh, yeah. I want to meet you, Clearly. I'll get it now. The last oh, question. On, so the chance for a the chance for one Thanks, star. We asked Ricky, and this one should get me in trouble. What his favourite campsite slash park up slash festival of all time has been? Bunry. No. Hullaball. Hullaball. Ah. Who said Bunry? So, ladies and gentlemen, they got no out of five. Now, please, oh, Alex, you may spot a trend in this, but we asked Mark what his favourite YouTube channel was. Yes. Yes. Yeah. 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 We asked Mark we what his favourite Spice Girl was. We have a match. Yeah. So, we, are first. we asked Mark what the worst thing his partner cooks or has ever cooked. Ooh. Dinner. <laughs> Dinner. <laughs> Dinner. Dinner. That's not far enough. Doing rain. No, he said risotto. Oh, Dinner. 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 <laughs> the dress I wore to do little wedding? That's a match. Yeah. 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 We asked what his favourite campsite slash park up slash festival is. Yeah. 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 So, ladies and gentlemen, yes. four out of five. Yeah. 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 Y
question. So what I would like is I'd like everyone to do a drum roll and then Nick on their you know, next one. I've never won anything, but I can't say that now, can I? Look at that! Brilliant! Lava vine around the campfire! Yay! Jimmy! Go! Jimmy! Jimmy! Congratulations! It was a great night, wasn't it? Brilliant. Absolutely amazing night. We had such good fun, didn't we? Mm -hmm. yeah. Despite the rain. Hence yeah. the hair. Yeah. Never mind the rain. The rain did not spoil the fun. It didn't, no. No, it was great. Mm -hmm. We had a brilliant night. So, bed now, because <sighs> we've got to be up early in the morning, haven't we? Up early. We've got to be off the site by 11 o'clock. We've got a million jobs to do. The place is wrecked. The garage. You don't want to open that garage door. <laughs> everything would fall out at you. It's just everything's oh. been thrown in there. We won Mr. and Mrs. We won the Mr. and Mrs. Quick, go and grab the cup. Let's oh. show you the cup that we won. We were against uh, Beth and Mickey, Hills on Tour, Hills Explore, sorry, and... Richbees. Richbees. There you go. Look at that. Yeah. Never mm -hmm. won anything in my life. Never had a trophy ever. But now we win the Mr. and Mrs. because we know each other really well. We do. We do. Too well. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we're a bit tipsy, <clears throat> so we'll say good night and see you in the morning. Good night. Early. See you in the morning. Bye. Take care. See you later. Mwah, mwah, mwah. <laughs> We just wanted to say a massive thank you to everybody who contributed to this weekend. We couldn't have done it without you. The links to everybody's channels will be down in the description below. Love you. Until next time. See Bye. You later. Bye. Bye. Join us next time as we head for North Wales to a recommendation from Richby's Life Adventures, Shell Island. Let's go see what this place has to offer. Mm -hmm. Is that clear? Very. This is mental. Wait for me!